Dan Casino is standing by, political analyst. Dan, good to see you today. Michael Cohen today in court basically outlining how important he thought his role was to make sure that nothing would affect Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Your thoughts on what we're hearing from this star witness today? Really, I'm surprised exactly how much this has been linked back to the Access Hollywood tapes. That that really almost seemed to traumatize mm -hmm. Trump, saying we can't afford to have another uh, scandal, a sex scandal, thinking it was going to hurt him among female voters. Now, we have some evidence that that scandal did hurt him among female voters, so it makes sense he'd be worried about that. But this seems to be, at least in the telling of Cohen, a direct link with what happened with Stormy Daniels here. Uh, now, Cohen, of course, is, as you said, a very risky witness. You know, if he's, he's a known liar, he's been convicted of lying, why would you believe him? Well, I'd, if I was the prosecutor, I wouldn't be putting him up on the stand if there weren't a whole lot of other evidence for what he's saying. What he's saying is basically all corroborated by the records we have from other witnesses and what other witnesses have told us. There's a couple points where he and David Pecker, uh, the publisher who is in question here, uh, seem to be different, but those seem relatively minor. So we, the prosecutors do have a backup for almost everything we say. That's not going to stop the Trump defense team from going in and really, I think, probably pretty savagely attacking him and his credibility. Uh, but it's going to be hard for the jury to just completely dismiss everything he's saying. Yeah, Michael Cohen saying, you know, that the Stormy Daniels sex scandal uh, would have had a catastrophic uh, impact on Donald Trump's attempts to win the White House. And that, you know, he, he was told by Trump, you know, quote, just take care of it, end quote. How significant, how damaging do you think what Michael Cohen says and testifies maybe for Trump, Dan? Well, in terms of his Trump's defense, this is the, this is the witness they have to get rid of. They have to somehow get rid of the credibility of this witness. And that's going to be tough, again, because there is corroboration for almost everything that he's saying. He's giving us the other side of a conversation that we've already heard about from other witnesses. So, I, you know, Trump's campaign has to say, this is all fake. Uh, Cohen hates Trump. Cohen's just out to get Trump. That's what they're going to argue. I, if I'm on the jury, though, it's going to be hard to make that claim and say that Cohen's making everything up, because that means everybody's making everything up and all the records are made up. And some of these calls are on tape. So I don't know exactly how you say everything you're saying is a lie. Yeah, the other thing I'm curious about, we know that, you know, paying somebody to keep quiet is not illegal, but, you know, then falsifying business records, you know, about it is illegal, of course. Uh, also, the prosecution, Dan, is trying to say, you know, this is about a lot more than so-called hush money. This is about election interference. Trump knew he would likely lose the election if that scandal broke, and so he paid off through Michael Cohen, Stormy Daniels, to keep quiet. Uh, so that amounts to actually election interference because voters didn't know about the scandal. They were unaware of it uh, to the benefit of Trump. Yeah, that's actually the trickiest part of the prosecution's argument. If this is just about hush money, about falsifying business records, that's kind of a slam dunk. Those are called a documentary crime, as in there's documents that prove that this crime happened. You said one thing, one set of documents, nothing, another set of documents. Uh, that's not really a question of whether there was, there was falsification of documents. The difficult part is bootstrapping that up into this larger charge by saying, well, it's not just falsification. The falsification, which is a misdemeanor, becomes a felony because it's tied to, uh, to this uh, attempt to sway the election. And that legally is very tricky. Uh, it's not clear anyone's ever actually tried that legal strategy before. And if there's an appeal, that's what the appeal's going to be about. Hey, what's the effect that you're seeing so far on the polls for Trump? Uh, this doesn't hurt him at all on Republican voters, but the more we're talking about Trump, the worse it is for him in the general election. Trump wants to be talking about Joe Biden. Joe Biden wants to be talking about Trump. The more we're talking about this, the worse it is for Donald Trump in the general. Thanks for this, Dan. Much appreciated. Always a pleasure. Hey, Dan Casino there, our U.S. political analyst.